joint top scorer in the tournament. Looking for his fourth penalty goal. Never in doubt. I'm Greg Laidlaw and welcome to Kicking It. Today I'm going to show Ben what really goes into the perfect kick. So Greg, going from back to basics, just the setup, just if you can just talk me through what exactly you do in the setup. Yeah, so I mean I keep my setup fairly uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, T, a lot of times you have a bar in the middle of the, in the T and I always like that facing just inside the uh, the right hand post for me because when I'm kicking well I normally kick with, with a, a slight draw and then pretty much exactly the same thing uh, with the ball. I like to set the ball up just inside that right hand right hand post. So that uh, line now is going straight towards? Yeah, just maybe like half a metre inside that uh, okay. right hand post when, when I'm kicking well. As I said, I just normally hit it with a, a nice little draw. A little bit of a tilt on the ball for me and that gives me a nice sort of launch angle for, for when I'm going to come and kick. And as you're coming in to kick, where's the area you're looking to, to have a connection with? Yeah, very much like right on the, that sort of point there. I like having that, you know, just that nice tilt that we talked about, just so I can sort of visualise where I'm going to come in and, and uh, you know, obviously plant my foot just in the back of the ball. So when I set up here, just as I said, just inside that, right, I take two steps back. Yeah. And then I sort of just normally collect my feet. I like to check the, the balls in just in, in a nice line just inside that right post. Okay. And then I'll take a couple of the side and then just a sort of little half one. And then I just sort of pad my feet a little bit and just that's when I just then start to get comfortable or try and feel comfortable. Yeah. When I look at that top of the right hand post and then I look back to the ball and do that in a, a few times before I kick. Okay, let's have a look. Try and stay tall on the way in. <laughs> And and you can see trick. that going beyond that kick then. Yeah. So the tee was here and you finished yeah. beyond. Oh. oh, that was ugly. Oh, we'd love to cut that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll all of the ones. Yes. So Greg, if you saw, well, obviously you saw my last one, I went to the left. Is there anything, any feedback you can give for me for that? Yeah, uh, in real time it's, it's quite hard obviously, but I, I think what happened is, uh, as we talked about before, uh, for the right-footed kicker, when you, you place this left foot, you know, after you place it, you want the, the left-hand side of your body to be, to be really tall, and I think you just placed it and you're quite lazy, as we would call it in, in the trade, is you're just leaning back a little bit, and if you lean back, it makes it really hard for yourself to, to transfer that body weight through. So once you plant that left foot, try and stay really tall on that left side, and that's going to help you with that follow-through after. Okay, sweet. So who, would, who was your uh, hero or your kicking hero when you were growing up? Anyone that you used to look up to? Uh, I always remember Neil Jenkins. He was he yeah. was obviously you know unbelievable kicker. I think you know he used to use sand. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I always just remember he used to just sort of step up and clip them over, clip them over. Yeah. Uh, he, you know, he was always somebody that I used to love watching, and yeah. that was certainly awesome when I when I was able to meet uh, Jenks in the 2017 <laughs> on the Lions tour as well. Yeah. Did you pick up any any tips, any info from him there? Uh, he was like, really good, you know, he was like, look, you've got your technique, but mm. kind of, if you need anything, come to me. On that tour, you had like Lee Halfpenny yourself, he's yeah. an awesome kicker, so he's kind of like, he was just helping you, guiding you to make sure you get the best out of your technique. Yeah, exactly that, and I think, you know, that, that was what was awesome, whether it was kicking practice or, you know, you're having a look at, you know, whoever, Pens or, or, or Faz, Johnny Sexton, mm. you know, whoever it was. Um, I think it was just uh, Biggs as well, obviously, all, all world-class kickers and mm. yeah, just good fun having kicking sessions yeah. as well. And, oh, I bet, yeah. Uh, who's, who's winning? Who's winning oh, those comps? They're all pretty good to be fair, yeah. boys. <laughs> um, I don't know, well, Faz kicked on the tour, so we we'll, we'll better give it to him. Nice. Let's make it a little bit more difficult, back to the 40. I never kicked the ball, uh, you know, a huge distance, but you know, coming back here, it was, it was very much, you know, don't try and kick it harder, because okay. it was the big one for me. You know, sometimes when I tried to kick it harder, if I was right on the edge of my distance, or else, a lot of times I say, I saying that you just try and use your legs to kick, wow. which, you know, some people might sound funny, but what I mean by that is you just plant that leg and you literally just swing like that and you, you don't use your body to, to follow through the ball. So I was very much a, of the, the school, just keep that technique and just try and make it the best technique possible to get through the ball. If you do that, Hopefully it's going to go over. Nice, dragged, it, dragged it left. Yeah, I got the distance though. So. Try and correct that uh, mistake I did. Uh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Nice big long levers, you see. Easier for distance for you guys. 
There you go, beautiful. Don't want that one back. That was traveling. So just moving on to the sides. Um, does anything change at all in your routine, your technique, aiming? Nah, nothing changes much uh, for me. Ben, I'm very much, again, just inside that uh, right hand post. Just get in there, get that ball set up nice. Repeat process. Okay. Nice, mate. That's straight a nice strike. Through. Straight over the black dot, that one. Easy. Oh, it's a cannon. Lovely strike. So you've played in countless Six Nations. What would be your best kick, your favourite moment in Six Nations? Um, probably, certainly from a, uh, kicking specifically, it would probably be against Ireland. I think it was 2017. But this now is a really good call. They, were, they, were, they let the clock get over 79 minutes. So now, if Greg Ladle goes for goal and misses it, and it goes dead, the clock's over, it's game over. Scotland still win it. I think we were a couple of points in the lead, but the game was close to the end, so uh, it was one of them kicks. Don't hit the post, it's about the only way the ball could stay in play. Greg Laidlaw to the strains of Flower of Scotland. This will be the final kick of this game. Uh, I managed to just hit it, hit it nicely, and obviously that realisation would, would won the game as soon as it sailed through was, was a nice feeling. It is good from Greg Laidlaw. It is great from Scotland because they have won. They have beaten Ireland in the opening match of this RBS Six Nations. You don't get too many kicks like that. Uh, so that was one that sticks in the mind. Is, is that the type of one where you, you kicked in, as soon as it uh, leaves your foot, you can just feel that euphoria of it's going over? Yeah, that was it. it, was, it yeah. was, I can remember it quite vividly, that one. It was, you know, that kick and then, you know, as I get through, you just pick your head up and then you realise, oh, I've hit that one nicely, it's not going anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, and that was, I ended up turning to the, the stand and I think I gave it that one and that one. Yeah. Which, you know, <laughs> I was quite emotional some things, but oh, I don't know. Yeah. I never certainly planned to do yeah, that, yeah. but it just came out, so. It felt right. Yeah, it seemed to feel right at the time. And that's a fantastic victory, culminated with that penalty there by the captain, Greg Laidlaw. He knew he'd nailed it, but what an effort by the whole Scotland team. Right then, challenge time. We've got five kicks, they've got to take on the master. Let's try and put your tips into action. Here we go. Here we go, mate. Here oh, we go. Watch that wind, right? <laughs> it's picked up, actually. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> These are the sketchy kicks. That's the one. These are, see, these are. Everybody says these are the easy ones, but these are actually the hard ones. Easy, nice. One all that. Where are you going to put this? Uh, just inside the right. Mate, that's the plant. Inside the right. Ah, <laughs> horrible. Oh. Clean left. That's terrible. We need to take the two back. There we go. Hot to the side. Mm. Facing into the sun. Nice, mate. Oosh, straight through. Yeah, back that was on it. Okay, I need this one. Stay <laughs> in the game. You've got the Long Rangers coming up, mate. That's your game. Yeah. Drilled it through that one. Yeah. Beautiful. So going for two big kicks now. These are these are long, so it's going to stretch us. So yeah, uh, yeah, let's give it a go. Anywhere here? Yeah, anywhere here, mate. I'm just in that wind as well. It's not going to help. There we go. Yeah, is it there? Oh no! Clean off the post. Come on. Uh, let's clean over that one. Hold on. Into the last one. Three, two, is it? Three, three two. two, three, two. Yes, that's it. Nice, mate. Good. So that evens it up. This yeah. is the kick. Two in it. You feel the pressure, right? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, never anywhere yes. else. Yes, drilled it. I call that disgusting as well. Nice, mate. Cheers, lad. Thank really you. Appreciate that. Pleasure. Yeah, Thank you. My pleasure. Greg, cheers, mate, for coming down, sharing your knowledge, your wealth of experience, and some of your tips as well. My pleasure, mate. It's been a pleasure to come down, and uh, it's been good fun. Thanks, everyone. If you liked what you saw today, make sure you like and subscribe to World Rugby.